Hi everyone, welcome to the History of Football channel. Tonight I'll be doing another Forgotten Football Ground video. Recently, the last couple of Forgotten Football Ground videos I have done, I've got some very good view numbers and a lot of comments and a lot of likes. And I'd just like to say thank you to everyone that has watched a video of mine and commented recently and subscribed to the channel. It's very well appreciated. But tonight I'll be doing another Forgotten Football Ground and tonight it's Nidian Park. Ninian Park was the home ground of Cardiff City between 1910 to 2009. Prior to playing at Ninian Park, the club played a place called Sophia Gardens between 1899 and 1910. However, that was deemed inadequate and there was a few other problems with playing at Sophia Gardens. So Cardiff City were in search of a new place to play and eventually they were given land in an area near Sloper Road and where they were going to build the ground on top of was an old rubbish tip. There was a funding proposed and eventually the ground was constructed. They were given a seven year lease and the rent was £90 a year. One of the main stakeholders behind the Ninian Park idea was himself, Lord Ninian Crichton Stewart. And he was one of the main people that donated money towards building this new ground and the ground was actually named after him because initially the area where Cardiff City were meant to be playing was going to be called Sloper Park so it was named Ninian Park in honour of Lord Ninian Crichton Stewart. The first official game to be played at Ninian Park was on the 1st of September 1910 against Aston Villa and 7,000 people attended to watch Cardiff City lose two goals to one Jack Evans scored the first ever goal at the ground for Cardiff City. He went on to play over 300 matches for Cardiff. Uh, on the 24th of September 1910, the club played their first competitive fixture and it was against Ton Pentry. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And they beat uh, Ton Pentry four goals to one in front of 8,000 people. The following year, Ninian Park became the home ground of the Wales national football side and they played their first fixture in the British Home Championships at Ninian Park and it was between Wales and Scotland. That match finished two goals apiece. In the early days of Ninian Park there was a problem with the pitch service because uh, the, the rubbish tip which they built the ground on some of the debris of the rubbish tip was starting to come up through the soil and there were a few players that got cut by uh, pieces of glass and other sharp objects that were coming out of the ground and Jack Evans himself uh, received a gash on his leg by a piece of glass that come out of the pitch. In the early days of Ninian Park uh, the ground was described primitive by the times and there was only one change room at Ninian Park until 1913 so both sets of players and officials had to use the same change room, the same bathroom, same shower, everything. And uh, it wasn't until 1913 that a separate dressing room was constructed for the away side. On the 18th of January 1937, the main stand at Ninian Park was burned down. And this was due to thieves who planted explosives in the main stand because they believed that they were trying to crack a safe which contained money from a recent FA Cup fixture that uh, Cardiff City got money off. And as a result, the main stand was burned down, but it was re it was later rebuilt before the beginning of World War II. In 1945, Dinamo Moscow became the first uh, side outside of England and Wales to go to the ground, and they were considered a very uh, good side back in the day, and they beat Cardiff City 10 goals to 1, and that was in 1945. In 1947, another new stand was built at a cost of £9,000. In 1958... Ninian Park hosted the second leg of the World Cup qualifier uh, between uh, Wales and Israel. Wales had already won the first leg 2-0 and they went on to win the second leg and qualified for the 1958 World Cup. In 1960, floodlights were installed at Ninian Park and uh, they were one of the last grounds around uh, England and Wales to actually have floodlights. In 1985... Jock Steen, who was a Celtic legend uh, with them as a manager, he uh, unfortunately died at the ground during a World Cup qualifier. 
against uh, Wales. It was Scotland against Wales, and uh, he had a heart attack at the ground, and he ended up dying in uh, one of the change rooms. Unfortunately, they couldn't save him. In the 1980s, Ninian Park uh, was quite dilapidated and very old and dated, and Wales ended up moving their um, home fixtures from Ninian Park to the Cardiff Arms Park. They did play occasionally at Ninian Park, but most of the time, international fixtures were played there. In 1990, after a FA Cup match between uh, Cardiff City and Queen's Park Rangers, uh, thieves burgled uh, the ground because they knew that there was a gate receipt money being kept after the FA Cup fixture, and they stole £50,000 from Ninian Park. So that was uh, not very good for Cardiff City, especially when they were going through a lot of financial issues and a lot of problems with Ninian Park. Uh, after a, a game in 2002 against Leeds United in the FA Cup, Ninian Park got national attention because of how dilapidated the ground was and there was uh, scuffles between both sets of supporters after the after the game and even the South Wales police described Ninian Park as, as old and dated and, and something needed to be done with the ground. And around about the same time, there'd been talks that Cardiff City were going to leave Ninian Park and it was around about 2007 that construction on the new Cardiff City Stadium was well underway. The last ever match to be played at Ninian Park was on the 25th of April 2009. It was against Ipswich Town. And Ipswich Town won that match three goals to nil. John Stead was the last ever player to score a goal at Ninian Park. He had also played for Sheffield United and Sunderland. After Ninian Park was demolished... 142 houses were built on the on the site and it is now a housing estate. Looking back at some records of Ninian Park, the highest ever attendance at the ground was on the 17th of October 959. 62,634 people attended a British Home Championship match between Wales and England. The highest ever league attendance was on the 22nd of April 953. 57,893 people attended the match against Arsenal. The highest ever score, or the biggest ever win that Cardiff City got at Ninian Park was in 1961. They defeated Knighton Town 16-0. And their biggest ever league win, because they beat Knighton Town in the Cup, the biggest ever league win was on the 6th of February 1932. They beat a side called Thames 9 goals to 2. The biggest ever loss that Cardiff City suffered at the ground was in on well, on New Year Day, 1926. They were defeated 11 goals to 2 by Sheffield United. So that concludes my video on Ninian Park, the home ground of Cardiff City between 1910 to 2009. I've just crammed about 100 year of history in the, an 8 minute video. I'm pretty sure that there's you could talk about Ninian Park for days on end, especially Cardiff City fans could. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know which uh, forgotten grounds or which former grounds of football clubs you would like me to feature next. Um, the last couple of videos I've done, have, as I said, have been very successful. But thanks for watching this video. I'll be sure to, sure to make more videos in the future. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch us all later in the next one. All right, thank you. Bye for now.